Hi, my name is Mark Slim. Today we're going to talk about microphone polar patterns, or uh, pickup patterns as some people call them. So all microphones, regardless of their size, if they're tall or small, they all have uh, polar patterns or pickup patterns. So today we're going to be using this AKG 414C microphone. It has multiple polar patterns selectable on it, as most large diaphragm condensers do. So we're going to start by selecting the omnidirectional. So omnidirectional generally looks like this circle, and omnidirectional means it pretty much picks up in all directions. So what that means is no matter where I stand in the room, I should be, uh, my voice should not change at all because the microphone is picking up in all directions. Now we're moving on to cardioid. Cardioid is one of the most popular polar patterns out there and uh, most dynamic mics and most small pencil condensers usually have a cardioid. The thing about a cardioid pattern is that it now kind of divides the microphone almost in half, if you will. So what happens is there's a side that is picking up, which is called the on-axis side, and that's picking up most of the, uh, the information or the sound pressure, whatever, however you believe a microphone works. And then the back side of the microphone is rejecting or not picking up sounds from it. So just watch, remember how I walked around? And as I start to get off axis, you'll start to hear a change. And as I get to the other side of the uh, microphone, you'll hear that my voice is totally different. All right, this is part two. One thing that's very important to know about the cardioid pattern is it suffers uh, from this thing called proximity effect. Now this happens in all the polar patterns, slightly to some degree, but it is the most obvious in cardioid. So let's show an example. I'm gonna put the pop shield in because I'm gonna get really close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep talking and talking and get closer as I'm just keep talking and talking and I'll get really close talking and talking and talking. I'll try to keep my volume the same. You need to take this into consideration when doing especially vocals because if you're trying to go with a like cool radio voice you know this would be an advantage but if you're trying to sing uh, you don't want a big boomy voice. The next one is the figure of eight. La! You could use it that way if you wanted to, but the figure of eight has a very strong side or off axis rejection. It's much stronger than uh, any of the other patterns we've discussed so far. Another thing to take into consideration is it has the worst bass response out of all the polar patterns there are. And um, you could use that to negate the proximity effect pretty well. So let's review really quick. We got the omnidirectional, which, um, covers all directions, obviously. We got the cardioid, pretty common, and we know about its um, rejection sides and how to use it usefully. And then we got the figure of eight. So hopefully you can use that and you could start thinking more about mic placement with that. When you start placing mics, start thinking about what polar pattern it is and start trying to remember how the rejection works because you can start getting really good isolation using that. Okay, well that's the end of the video.